PhD student of uh, Illinois Institute of Technology. Uh, here, uh, in terms of the clean energy, we have two organizations working together, including the Galvin Center for Electricity Innovation and WISER. Uh, Galvin Center, uh, Gal Galvin Center uh, for Electricity Innovation is directed by Professor Muhammad Shahidapur, uh, one of the old faculty members of the Illinois Institute of Technology. We are working on a tr three different projects, uh, including the microwave, wind, wind turbines project, as well as the smart grid workforce training. In a, a microgrid projects, we are trying to make the small grid that can uh, be uh, still live whenever we have uh, any uh, disconnection from the utility, either because of the high price of electricity or either because of the utility outage. And uh, the funding that we get uh, for that project uh, is about uh, 15 million dollars that has been funded by the DOE. The second one is wind turbine, which is funded by Wind Consortium. It's about a 12 million dollars project. And uh, for that project, we have two different wind turbine. The first one is the one on campus. The capacity of that wind turbine is not big enough, but anyway, we want to see the effect of having the wind turbine and the integration of the wind turbine into the grid. The other one, we have the 1.5 megawatt uh, wind unit, which is located in Grand Ridge. It's a, suburb, uh, it's a western suburb of Chicago, which is close uh, about 15 minutes far from the campus. And for that one, we get the data as well as any information, any related information. Uh, we use the, those data for our research database. The third one is, uh, which is a uh, uh, smart grid workforce training and the funding is about 13 million dollars and we are trying to train um, college and high school instructors and let them know what the smart grid is so we can send them out to do the, through the Chicago area uh, college and high schools so they can s distribute the knowledge of uh, smart grid. In terms of the microgrid which is our main project here we, have, we uh, try to make the school and campus alive in a time of outage and we use uh, a cogeneration plant that currently uh, we use that cogeneration plant uh, for heating purpose because the operational cost of that unit is much high so we prefer to buy the electricity from the utility but in a, t in a time of emergency we can run it, it's about 8 megawatt units uh, which uh, includes two four megawatt rose rose engines also we have three solar uh, farms units one of them is located at the MTCC parking two of them at the roof of two different buildings including Seagull Hall and the Stewart building also we use three different battery units that is hooked up to the solar panels to store the energy one of them is Stewart Building, one of them is Siegel Hall Building, and one of them is in front of Life Science Building. In Life Science Building, we keep the animals and plants, and as you know, they should be in a, they should be kept in a specific temperature and humidity. So the big and important battery unit is used for that building. Also, we have a closed loops protection system that we are trying to keep the school alive in terms of any failure or faults happens. So we use the SNC uh, Vista switch uh, here, the SNC, SNC one of the sponsors of our symposium, the third uh, Great Lakes Symposium located in Chicago. And we use uh, those Vista switches in this uh, uh, campus. We have uh, seven loops. Uh, that right now three out of the seven loops of completely practical. Here we are having the third Great Lakes Symposium with about uh, eight uh, sponsored. Uh, we have about 400 people registered. We have lots of company coming up to this symposium.
to have a panel session to discuss about uh, today's uh, drawbacks and the problems that we have uh, in power system engineering to have the world much cleaner, including the demands response, the, the smart grids and microgrid solution for the networks.